first guest tonight is an Oscar winner and an easy reader. He, on starting on November, on October 27th, he returns for season two of Lioness on Paramount Plus. Please welcome the one and only Morgan Freeman. <laughs> It's very good to see you. How are you? Very good to see you. What happened with your hair? Uh, it's gone. Well, uh, it's a long story there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look good with a bald head. You never know how you're going to look until you're, uh, until you're bald, right? I mean... Yeah, I don't know why I shaved it off at first, but as soon as some friends saw it, they said, oh, you look younger, but that was it. Is the plan to keep it like this, or are you thinking maybe you'll grow, maybe you'll, one day you'll get that, um, set, that uh, electric company afro you had in the, in the 70s? Oh, that one, yeah. Oh, there it is. Will we ever see that again? Wig. That was a wig? Of course. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. Well, you're destroying my childhood dreams. Oh. <laughs> you, um, at age 87, yeah. do, you, do you feel like you get wiser as you get older? Or does, or does it cap out at a certain age? I think it just taps out. It does. Yeah, right around 80. Around 80? Yeah. OK. All right, that's not bad. And then you start on a slope <laughs> like that. Uh-huh. For instance. OK. Memory. You forget things. Shot. Really? <laughs> I'm telling you. Short term, long term, both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> both of those things. <laughs> and are people patient with you, like your family, or the, uh, when you can't remember things, or no? Yeah, I think they're pretty patient. Pretty patient. Uh, I don't get any of that, you know, right thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, does it help you in any way? My grandfather, for instance, used to not pay for plane tickets. He would just wander onto the plane <laughs> and then pretend he was demented or whatever. Or something wrong with him. And they him. just let him go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, 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 I confess going in. I tell everybody, I'm sorry. I, I have a problem. I suffer from CRS. And boom, there you go. See, there are a few people out there. Who... <laughs> yeah. And, and what is CRS? <laughs> I think I just figured it out. But... All right. Yeah. You did. Do you know what it is, Guillermo? No, no. Can't remember. <laughs> Careful there. Now you mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, uh, as a, a man who has been uh, in this country through the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, a, a, all of the decades, yeah. do you feel like this is a more difficult time than any of those? Is it better? Are we, are we just... No, we... I think, to tell you the truth, I think we're living in the most dangerous time uh, since um, we got attacked in mm. uh, 1941. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's your feeling on it. Yeah. And you don't, you're not a person who, I mean, you look to the future, uh, which I think many people your age don't necessarily, aren't necessarily that interested in because... I'm terribly interested in it. Yeah. You yeah. support uh, legalization of uh, cannabis. I know that. That yeah. is something that you yeah. are involved with. Yeah. You... Yeah. You, uh, you narrated uh, Kamala Harris's video at the Democratic National Convention. Yeah. Not only did you do that, you narrated Senator Hillary Clinton's uh, uh, video at the Democratic National Convention. Yes. You really want a female president, don't I you? I really do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm, you know, racist or anything like that. I'm not. Well, maybe to a point. Uh, but I think, you know, <laughs> it's time we moved on from old white men running the country. Uh-huh. Yeah, nice. uh -huh. a nice change. Yeah. Speaking of old white men, do you remember the first time you voted, and, um, and who was it for? Or is this in the CRS category? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, I'm, I, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so it must not have been something that were you that you were really looking forward to. Were you politically minded as a young man? No, no, no. When did it hit you? I think it really started with uh, I got interested with Bill Clinton. With Bill Clinton, he's yeah. the person. And did he personally get you involved, or you just saw him and um, and thought, oh, that's a guy that I. That's feel a like guy that I think is gonna ride with us a while. Um, and he's the only, he's the second president I got to meet up close and personal. Who was the first? Um, George Washington. Bush. <laughs> You're quick. Yo, know, H.W. <laughs> he was the first president. Where did you meet him? At the White House, right? Well, sir. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Have you since um, visited all the presidents at the White House? Um, uh, yes, yes, all yeah. but one. All but one. Which one? Uh... <laughs> 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 well, you know what, Bill? We're going to take a break. Behave. <laughs> we're going to take a break, and during the commercial, we're going to try to figure out which one Morgan Freeman <laughs> didn't visit. Morgan Freeman is with us. We'll be right back. It's easy to forget why we're having this conversation. A congresswoman was kidnapped on American soil, her family killed at the behest of the Chinese Ministry of State. Which is why we need a plan in the first place. Do it. That is Morgan Freeman. That's what it should be like. That's what pol that's what I would like to imagine that politics are really like. There's I think that really is what they're like. I don't know. That's yeah. way behind the scenes. <laughs> way behind the scenes. Yeah. You play Secretary of State in a lot yeah. of this. Um, you My play... voice really sound like that? What's that? Way down here like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? It's like... <laughs> and Nicole Kidman is looking on like, I'll do whatever needs to be done. Yeah, Nicole. <laughs> wow. You played the... <laughs> The president of the United States, the head of the CIA, uh, the um, uh, a colonel, a general, uh, secretary of state. There, have you been in the Situation Room like more times than Wolf Blitzer? I think you've been, <laughs> you've done a lot of time in pretend politics. Yes, haven't I you? have. I have. And do you have real politicians approach you and and mention these roles to you? No. You never do. You're the only one. <laughs> I don't think of myself as a politician, but I, I appreciate that. No. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't, no. But I do want to mention um, Shawshank Redemption, because they just had the 30th anniversary of that film. And maybe you're tired of talking about it, I don't know. But, but it's still, it's such a great movie. Did you know it was going to be a great movie when you read the no, script? No, you never know. Uh, you know if you read uh, an outstanding script. That's as far as it goes. Mm -hmm. After that, it has to do with who you're going to work with, who's going to be the cinematographer, who's going to direct it, uh, and how well you handle yourself. Gee, is it true that it was your idea to cast Tim Robbins in that movie? Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you shared that with the director? And the director agreed that that was a good idea. I didn't talk to the, to the director at all then. I was talking to the producers. The producers, I yeah. see. And then they told the director, these are the guys you got. Yeah. Do you like um, when you are cast before the director is chosen for a film, or is it better to have the director in place first? Because what if you guys don't get along? Good, good point. Thank you. <laughs> I, I never thought of it. I don't... <laughs> I don't really. I don't... Uh... Doesn't seem to matter. Do prisoners like that movie? If you, I'd imagine some people will come up to you and say, I was watching TNT, which really, like, it's, I mean. Yeah, uh, I've been in a lot of prisons for some reason or other. Uh huh. And uh, I always get a good response from inmates, you know, they said, yeah, my man. You know. 
speaking of your voice, uh, I know you've narrated so many great things. And Shawshank Redemption was the first time you really narrated something, right? Uh, yes, that's what got me started. We have uh, assembled uh, some YouTube videos, okay. and uh, we thought it might be fun to hear you narrate some of these uh, humorous videos. Would you be open to that? Of course, I'll be open to anything you okay, want me to do, Okay, very good. Tammy. All right, great. All right, let's All right. go. Here we go. Shoot it. All right, in slow motion, a boy swings a boxing glove towards his target. Small school bus resting on a younger boy's head. It's a dangerous game these boys play, but they know that without risk, there is no reward. With each swing, the glove gets closer. And while I'd like to tell you that the glove didn't hit a boy in his face on that day, I am sorry to report that I cannot. Doesn't get any better than that. Morgan Freeman, everybody, line us. Season two, October 27th on Paramount Plus. We'll be back with Lucy Nash Betts. <laughs>